Here is Perp back with another video. Just got done watching Cruel Summer Season 1, Episode 3. Man, <laughs> this was definitely the weaker episode this week. It wasn't terrible. It definitely was just not as strong as the first two. And it seems like they're going to have a pattern going here with these episodes and how this story is going to play out. So, we pick up where the last episode left off, where Jeanette now wants to kind of take action against Kate, which, let me speak for the record once again, I'm Team Kate, especially just what I've seen from this episode. Jeanette is a whole mess out here, and, you know, it's still such a drastic change over two years to see where she was in 93 to where she is in 95 95 is so over the top honestly like compared to it's seriously the one thing that kind of takes me out of this show is when we go into the present time maybe because we don't see how everything comes together but for right now it's i don't know i just i'm having a hard time kind of just getting behind just the whole entire story that's why i kind of just have to take this whole show with a grain of salt or just kind of turn your brain off because there's definitely some issues with the way that they just write this whole entire story it's still entertaining to watch nonetheless so also we get more of Jeanette's mother sydney turner she's also in this and she is an interesting character as well, getting her backstory. I'll get into that very shortly. But she's really worried about her image. And it's kind of weird. It's just like, yo, you really don't just give a fuck about your daughter. It's it's weird. And just, you know, things aren't looking good for their whole entire family because of Jeanette. And just what is she really hiding? And what is Kate hiding? Because she's definitely hiding something. I think they're both hiding something. Um, they have this weird scene where they run into each other in traffic and, you know, Kate just gets out of her car randomly. That's why I just said 95 is just so fucking weird to me. Like, it's honestly really weird. And I hope that the payoff is worth it. That's all I'll say about that. But, you know, I just want to see how we go from this chick from gla with glasses to now wanting to be this popular chick, now to wanting to be this, like, emo, you know, everything's dark and depressing Jeanette. I just, it's just kind of weird. Now, somewhat of a positive of this episode where you have Jeanette's father pulling up on, uh, what's his name, Jake or Jamie? And he's the one that kind of punched Jeanette in the face, which is really uncalled for. You should never put your hands on a woman. Absolutely not. He deserves to get his ass whooped. And it seems like even though going into the present day or just where they are at currently in 95, he's also just getting in trouble now and just made this drastic change. The whole tone of 95 is just weird. I'm sorry. I'm just going to completely bring that up because there's some interesting things in 95, which is just, I just don't believe it. It's just a little bit unbelievable. That's all. Going back to 93, Mallory, which is possibly my, is probably my favorite character and probably the best character on this show, you know, and I didn't know that this was Kevin Smith's daughter, which makes sense. You know, I'm from Jersey. She's from Jersey. We both on the same type of time because she brings all the drugs and, you know, she just wants to have a good time with her friends and I'm all for that. But of course Jeanette does some weird ass shit but we'll get back to that so we get a lot more backstory on Vincent's character that you know he's gay and all this stuff and you know cool we get more character development for our friends and stuff that's really cool because now they're part of the story and you know Vincent actually gets kind of tossed into this story somehow and I'm wondering how his involvement kind of is going to play out. So now we go to this interrogation scene. But before we go to this interrogation scene. Remember when I said, you know, 
Jeanette did some stupid things in this episode, and I just can't get behind her character. Like, who throws out the drugs? I'd be so mad. I feel like Mallory kind of took it uh, took it on her lightly, and you know, I would I wouldn't have talked to Jeanette at all ever again. Just say that's just terrible. But speaking of terrible, we get this interrogation scene of Jeanette and she just fumbling the ball because they're really pressing her about this charm that they found and just her whole involvement with you know her kind of keeping this whole truth from the world and stuff and you know everybody really hates Jeanette in this story like this is making worldwide news this is like the biggest topic of the day which is that's why i said like you got to kind of sub suspend your disbelief with the show but if you could do that you could still enjoy it for the most part but jeanette's going through a lot of extreme changes very rapidly um we get this really interesting scene of kate going to the movie store and, and this is where vincent works at and he's just kind of interested by the movies that she's picked she picked like um Hannibal Lecter, Misery, I forget the other one, but it all had to do with things that happened to her and stuff, and I'm just, it's really interesting, and that's why I said, I, I feel like Kate's character is just way more interesting than Jeanette's, that's just me, but now we get to another, I think is probably one of the best moments of this episode, probably the best moment of this episode, or the highlight is we get a lot more backstory on Jeanette's mom and how she used to be the popular kid and Kate's mom used to follow her around. So it's kind of in reverse. And that's probably what made Jeanette go through this drastic change, which I don't know. Like I said, I want to just see how this all kind of plays out and how it comes together. But it definitely seems like somewhere along the lines, Kate, not Kate's mom, but Jeanette's mom kind of went left and literally left the whole entire family. Her father's drinking now. Jeanette's father's drinking. He's not his same self. You know, just everything is just completely sucked dry of any type of just hope or happiness in 95. It's just really depressing. Then we get a, a scene of nut as Jeanette back in 93 breaking into this old house and she just where they found kate at where the new assistant principal is staying she breaks into the house and i'm just like what is going on in her mind right now that's why i said i just need to wait but they had this like trippy ass scene of them going back and forth from like 93 to 95 and just it was it was a lot so eventually Mallory and Jeanette kind of piece things up and forgive each other. But I definitely feel like we'll see another kind of falling out between these two characters. And also, lastly, the episode ends with Jeanette down in the basement with Vincent. And they kind of have this conversation and you're. It's just really confusing with 95. I'm sorry. I'm going to have a huge issue with 95 until we get some results with that. Vincent is getting pressured, and I'm wondering what he's going to say. Man, this episode was really mid to me. There are some shining moments and some interesting parts about this, but it seems like they're just going to be going back and forth with Kate and Jeanette's character with each episode. I'm not sure if this is going to be a one series show or if this is going to be a continuation. I just feel like that format could get really stale. Overall, how do you guys feel about this episode in the comments below? Let me know. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.